Today is May 1st. It's called Law Day by, by many people uh, in the communist world, of course. It's a celebration of communist victories. The United States has chosen to call it Law Day or Loyalty Day. We think that uh, in many parts of the United States, particularly in Dallas County, that this is a farce. The rule of law does not apply. We have been victims of oppression by the law, and we will begin to reiterate that. Uh, Mr. Stein, as I'm sure many of you know, when he was editor of Notes from the Underground and Dallas Notes, uh, was harassed by the police. They raided his, uh, his office at one time. Uh, the Supreme Court had many things to say about that. In the past year, our street dealers have been busted uh, numerous times for selling the paper on the, on the, on the corner of Oak One Lemon. They're arrested under an ordinance known as the Hitchhiking Ordinance. It means if you step out into the street to solicit a ride, you're going to get arrested. Our street dealers, if they go out and, and, and get a quarter from a customer, are arrested. The flower dealers, other people, people who sell the Dallas Morning News, the Times Herald, are not arrested. Uh, last week, our circulation manager, Ken Benson, was arrested outside Memorial Auditorium and charged with a uh, violation of city ordinances. One, that you don't sell souvenirs while a convention is in town. Two, for blocking the sidewalk. We've contacted Alex Bickley. He says he thinks there is some room for disagreement. The Dallas Times, Herald, the Dallas Morning News are sold there all the time. This is blatantly uh, an act by the police to try and stop our circulation, to harass us whenever we can. Mr. Stein and I are now under a six-month sentence for contempt of court. If any of you covered that trial, I'm sure you'll know uh, what happened, the idiocies of it. We have gone down today and asked Doug Mulder, assistant uh, Dallas County District Attorney, to investigate charges of perjury against Robert Hardin. Today, we are also going to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, asking them to investigate a violation of our civil rights by Mr. Hardin, Mr. Floyd, and Mr. Maxwell of the Texas Department of Public Safety. Mr. Baker has written to the Judi Judicial Qualifications Committee of the State Bar Association, asking them to investigate the conduct of Judge Gossett. Uh, we've tried to deal with the establishment the best we can, as well as we can. We're just finding oppression everywhere we go. From now on, any time we get a photograph, of any narcotics officer, it will be published with his name, address, any descriptions that we can. We don't like doing this, but this is one way that we can that we can retaliate. Katie, I think you need to go into <clears throat>